Benny Milam won. He's the best snowboarder in the world. Heading out to Wild Mountain today. Rumor has it they blew some snow, so let's go see for ourselves. I can't wait to just see everyone. It's like you go all summer without seeing any of your snowboard homies because everybody lives all over the place. Uh, it's like a big family reunion this time of year. Oh, they got the culvert set up today, too. <laughs> it's the best part about Wild Mountain preseason right there. Dang. Look at that. Definitely not as much snow as I thought there was going to be, but it's day one. You can't complain. It's looking good. Are they going to set up both ropes today? Dang. Well, let's get this money. What up, Eric? How you doing? Good, how about you? Good. What time did you get out here today? Uh, like 11. Hell yeah. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm so freaking excited right now. Dude, I'm stoked. <laughs> it's finally here. <laughs> What's up, Juice? <laughs> Just using these new rakes. Oh, I missed this rail. I know. <laughs> so you get first lap. Someone's getting it. You want to move this rail real quick? Get it into position. I met him about 15 years ago, right near where that green tube was. Um, just kind of started boarding together, and then became super good friends and. Um, hey man, you think you could make that a ride on? Yeah, that's. Should we make this a ride on? If you want. <laughs> he was the ride on kid forever. Yeah. And he came up to everybody, kept asking to make him ride ons. <laughs> like everything wanted yeah. to be a ride on. Yeah, he just like wanted everything to be like no bigger than three feet tall. That's so And funny. like a ride on. Doing like cap twos and like front board pretzels and things Already like that. Already boarded so, better than everybody, but yeah, he wanted so the like, minimalist setup. That's my <laughs> first memory of Benny is like when he was like mm -hmm. young, but still like dumb good. <laughs> I wish I could just like pull a photo out of my pocket of what I remember seeing him as. He always had just like this huge head when he was younger. So like, that's really what I remember about him the most was this little kid, long hair, really big helmet. And just like a child prodigy, really. Doing stuff way outside his age, it's pretty impressive. Don't throw that term around too much, but he's he's been good for a long time. First year coaching, he's just doing insane things for like an eight-year-old. I mean, he definitely hasn't slowed down, which is cool to see, like going from this little bobblehead, little kid with a giant helmet, you know, to now, and he's progressed every year since, so that's cool to see. Oh! Yep. This is so much fun. Wow. <laughs> Everything's sliding nice, too. Yeah. I feel like it never usually slides first day, but... That's kind of about the same. Dude, it's so much fun out here. It's always all-time first day. Tell you what, 20 minutes of rope, my feet definitely feel it. I don't know what I'm doing on the last rail yet. <laughs> I just remember when he showed up and I was just like, oh, this no, 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 is insane. Good. Like, kids aren't riding like this. Once we saw what was really happening from the kids riding the ropes in Minnesota, you were just kind of like, wow.
in relation to like the type of snowboarder that Benny became, it's 100% because of the rope hills in Minnesota. It's a, obviously a breeding ground for good snowboarding due to how many laps you get, and it's in a way, I guess you could say, a training facility. Here, just the repetition of you don't have to unstrap, and you probably are getting two runs in a minute, if not more. I'm from Southern California, so for me, it's like you go, you went to Big Bear Mountain High, and you sat on a chairlift, and you had to wait like sometimes in line for an hour to get your next run. You go out west and, you know, if it takes you 10 tries to learn a trick, that's your whole day. Here, you can take 10 laps in five minutes and get your trick in and then go on to the next one. A uh, 100 laps a day will do insane things for your cre like creativity riding. Being creative in the Midwest is a lot different because we don't really have mountains. It's very flat, so first things first, you gotta try to figure out speed for anything. And that's where it gets hard. There's so many fields driving out to wild when I was a little kid, you'd be looking out the window, seeing all this opportunity for big old money booters. <laughs> I'm sure most snowboarders, they never looked at hay bales the way we did. Look at a barn as a feature, hay bales for example, or anything. Anything that you could have fun snowboarding on, you dream about hitting. Yeah, I never really thought I'd be doing projects like this. Like if you would have told me 10 years ago that I'd be getting pulled behind Levi hitting some hay bales or jibbing an ice house in the middle of the lake, there's no way I'd believe that, but opportunity came about and we were able to make dreams come true. Benny's just pretty much fulfilled on all the promise we saw in him when he was 15 years old. He's doing great for himself. He's doing like really cool video parts. He's making awesome projects through Red Bull and things like that as well as, like I said, filming street parts, which is what we grew up caring about. So I think he's really proving himself to be like the kind of pro snowboarder that everyone wants to be like. Hold on to what you love. Awake to half of what you want that used to be. You think no one sees you. When you don't pretend you Turn your back again To meet your end Sometimes I feel like he's better at skating than snowboarding. Daddy wants you Daddy wants you his work ethic is, I think, what drives him to be as good as he is at stuff, too, so. Daddy, won't you, won't you, won't you, won't they fail the streets with the streets? Some people are good at rails, some people are good at jumps, some people are all right at both. But, like, the, the skill level on jumps and rails, as far as, like, where he's at, is, like, Top tier. It's not easy to learn all these tricks and get as good as he is, but um, yeah, no, at this point, he's put in the work, so it seems like he's able to just have fun with it at this point. <laughs> I've seen Benny here probably every single opening day that there's been for the last like 15 years. I feel like it says something about a person when you like, you remain like very grounded to like where you started. Um, and so like knowing he like does what he does at the level that he does, to see him out here today raking just because he loves this place. I feel like that alone says a pretty good amount about the type of person he is. I mean, he's the same kid he was when he was eight years old. I mean, <laughs> it's always been true to himself and true to everything he believes in, and 
always going to be that dude, I think, yep. for, like, for his foreseeable professional career, too. Yep. Yeah. Couldn't ask for a better pro snowboarder than Benny, yep. hands down. If people didn't know who Benny Milam was, he would still be doing exactly what he's doing right now. Yeah. <laughs> Which I think is like the best quality in someone in pro snowboarding because they're doing it for the right reasons and like they're actually going to want to create things that are unique and not just what they need to do to be a pro. Benny Milam's a ripping boarder. <laughs> he's sick. <laughs> he's the man. Benny's the man. I love Benny. One of the best people in my life. 